Appreciate that, Bo. First, I gotta check out what's happening in Prim. Haven't heard uh, much from Prim, apparently, according to Doc Mitchell. So I, I figure we'll go down this way. I'm limping along a little bit. Do I have maybe a, a, a bag of some sort? I could fix my status. Hmm. Got doctor's bags. That'll work. Look at that. Right as rain. I guess my medical knowledge does pay off in some ways. Yeah, I was a, a nurse. Obviously, we need nurses in this sort of time. So I took up the the arms. I never became a doctor. I'm not really that good at staying committed to things. Ugh. It feels like I was somewhere else at one point. Like, after I got shot in the head, maybe I left my body. And that place seemed nicer than here. I don't know what's going on. New California Republic. Well, this is definitely further out west than I've ever been. Oh! Prim is off limits. Who are you? What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What? What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. I ain't gonna do that, friend. I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. Yeah, whatever, pal. What a jerk. No reason for that. It's your ass. Well, I was being mighty kind to you. And you just you just got some smart aleck words for me, huh? Fine. I suppose this is uh that sort of place. Getting reacquainted with this world is not an easy thing. Hey, Trooper. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. <sighs> you and me both, buddy. Tell you what. Oh, this a landmine right there. There's another landmine right there. If you're quick, you can deactivate them. Sell them for a good bit of money. There we go. Well... I suppose we made it to Prim. Seems awful quiet down here. Mojave Express. This is where I was supposed to deliver my package to. We'll see if anybody's inside. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Fellas, that ain't nice. How about this one right here? Oh my, it's not going well. Go for this. How's that feel? How's that feel? That'll work. Ah! Not as strong as I once was, tell you what. We handled those boys all right. I should stop through, see if I can get some more shells for this here shotgun. Oh, maybe we could fix up that nine mil. That might be a good idea. Pistols. Yeah, I'll take all this. I appreciate that, Bo. You're too kind. <laughs> uh, Vicky and Vance Casino. Maybe I can roll some dice around. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Well, that's the whole reason that I came down here. I got some questions about Prim. Well, I'll answer what I can. I appreciate that. Do you know where I can find the courier office? Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Leastways, I did before things went to hell around here. Interesting. I'm a, I'm a courier myself with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Now, you misunderstand me. I, I lost the package that I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yes, sir, I do. Oh, 
You're talking about one of them packages. Them packages? That job had Strange written all over. But we couldn't turn down the cat. Yeah, me either. Do you know what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Weird. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Well, do you know why he canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Well, do you know who he was? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Uh, not for me to say. Yeah, we might have some history, mister. I, I can't properly recall. Because I was shot in the head by a man in a checkered suit. And some, some thugs, great cons, I think they were called. Did you happen to see any pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. That sounds like a good lead. One of them shot me. So what is the best way to get to them? Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Bison Steve. He may have heard where they were going. Hmm. Could you have any, uh, anything for sale? Sure, have a look. I'm looking for some, uh, some shotgun slugs. Slugs would be ideal. Do you just have maybe some 20 gauge? Oh, yeah. Triple op buck. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, take these. I appreciate that, Bo. You have a good day now. Pleasure doing business with you. And you. Take it easy. Bison Steve's. Well, look at that. There's Bison Steve right there on top of the casino. Hey, how you doing, boy? <laughs> that's a joke. That's just a little joke we tell around here. Well, I wonder what Deputy Beagle's been doing in Bison Steve's. Maybe got a, a hooker for the night or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And everybody in here just violent as fuck. How's this? I'm a little violent too. Oof. Yeah, that's a sad thing to happen, but you started it. I want you to remember that. Oh, I think he just threw some dynamite this way. Maybe I get some dynamite of myself. Nope. Not today. Gonna come at me with a little crowbar. Think you're somebody? Oh, now we out of, now we out of weapon. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. Uh, let's see what this uh little nine milli can do. Got to repair it up first. Thank you so much for waiting, sir. I guess they are kind in some ways. There it is. A fine red mist. I just need you to remember, you started this. I just had to end it. I'm gonna get more dynamite. Got a varmint rifle. Bang. Have a good old time. Hmm. Another terminal. I bet I can figure this one out. No worries. Hmm. Let us try pouring. One out of seven. So it's not ending in ing. Stamina. Nope, nope, nope. Two attempts left. He got receive. App, 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 app. Forget about it. I come back to it. Figure this one out a little later. Hey, varmint rifle. 
they spot me? Oh, oh, oh. There's a fella right there. How's that? Yeah. Got all kinds of ammo. I don't even care, kid. I don't even care. Oh, you got some bottle caps? I helped myself, I, I guess. Have you got something in this here register? Yeah, sure do. How about the other one? Nothing. That's fine. That's fine for now. Better uh, stick myself with one of these little little fellas before something bad happens. <sighs> ah, yeah, this one for now is good. I don't want to get track marks. Let's see. Got some dirty water. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, I'm sure something's waiting around this corner, that corner, one of these corners. Hey, you. Got him good. Cause I'm getting my uh, ooh, getting my skill back. Oh my! How about you? You a little bit squishier? Yeah, we'll try you out, boy. That'll work. That'll work. Now I just gotta take care of this fella. All he seems to have is a little, uh, a little pipe. You ain't gonna scare me off with that, boy. Man. He takes quite a bit of damage, doesn't he? How about we just go for the head? Just keep going for the head. Nice. Like that critical hit, boy? <laughs> No sweat. No sweat at all. Flamer fuel. Incinerator. Wow. Had quite a big old flamey weapon. He decided to come at me with a little, uh, little tire iron. <laughs> That's so cute. Anybody else in here? Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh. He took a bite out of me, too. I tell you what. And you don't seem to be too uh too dangerous. I'll take this with me. A little more. Beer and scotch. Ooh. Brandon likes. Hmm. Well, I guess you're the only one left to talk to, aren't you? Take these waters. Well, how you doing, I don't buddy? I suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Oh, you're Beagle. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Yeah, I might do that, but first I need some information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered Indeed suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. I suppose that sounds fair. I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. But, uh, you really should fight at my side. Let's go through this place, boy. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it, you lead the way. All right, boy. You got your hands all untied. So proud of you. Ah. Lady killer, lady killer. Oh, you're a lady killer. Wonderful. Let me go ahead and clear this hotel right out. Come on, Deputy Beagle. Up the stairs. Don't make me turn this gun on you. <laughs> Just kidding. I probably wouldn't do that. Probably. Don't put it past me, though. Hey, hey, hey. That'll work fine. Nobody's here. It's just a gunfight. 
Calm down. <laughs> I'm gonna need all this stuff from you, little guy. That varmint rifle, we, we should try and put one of them together. Hold on, deputy. I gotta repair some of this, some of this right up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's good. There we go. And we'll give it a try. Oh yeah, we gonna hunt some varmints, all right. Tell you what. Now, I'm not really one for the thrill of combat. I'd much rather sit down, play a nice game of poker, some such. But uh, you gotta admit, there's a little, uh, a little something to it. How about you? Got you good, didn't I? Surprise! Didn't even see it coming. Uh oh. Come on. Now that boy. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. Alright. Ah, I don't wanna do another one right now. That that really hurts. That smarts is what they say. Let's get some of this dynamite here. How about that? How about some of this? Like some of that? Uh oh, get out of there. That'll work. Pitch it! Ugh. There you go, boy. You like some of that, huh? Yeah. Uh oh. Is that one gonna get me? Oh, he got me. Well, I, I guess that works nice. Just kind of carpet bomb the whole place. Deputy Bigo! Deputy Bigo! Where are you? He run off. I, I guess I better go find that boy. That just don't seem right. Oh, more soda. I do like a good pop. Deputy Bigo! Where you at? He really did just leave me. That, that ain't kind. He's supposed to be a man of law. And he just ran like a little girl. I will try this computer one more time. Welcome to Rob Co Industries. Yes, please let me log on. Thank you so much. We'll do melting. Nope. Mmm. Mmm. Persona. Noticed. Sealing, sending, minigun. No, that's even more off. Fitting. Western. Ah, I can't get it. I just ain't sure. Maybe my luck's not coming back up. I just ain't sure. Where'd that deputy beagle go? Dang. He run off on me? Really? What's that all about? Howdy. Hmm. I guess he skipped town. I guess we wait around in prim form for a little bit in the Vicky and Vance Casino. I don't know. Well, we rested up the whole night and I didn't see hide nor hair of that Deputy Beagle fella. So I guess we're gonna be on the way. I was listening to the radio during the night and there was a broadcast for the Sierra Madre Hotel and Casino. And if I know my father, and if I know my brother, for that matter, they're going to be down over that way. So I think I'm going to head towards it if I can. And I've marked it out on my map here too. So uh, we'll see. We'll see where it leads. Obviously a little skeptical for you heading out into the desert by myself, but it's early morning, you know. I think the coyotes have gone to bed for now. Probably. <laughs> There's only one way to tell for sure. We gotta get on the road, boy. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. 
Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.